One in three marriages will end in divorce. Unfortunately, many people wait until it's too late to get good money management advice. That's why we have financial professional Nick Fultz here with WealthWisconsin.com. And so when people are thinking about getting divorced, and it's a terrible subject for a lot of folks, it's a lot of stress, how should they deal with their finances? Well, one of the first things you want to do is make sure that you understand the laws of the state that you're in. Uh, because, for example, Wisconsin, we are a uh, marital property yeah. state or community property state. So what does that mean? It means that what's mine is yours and what's yours is mine. Okay. And so it's a 50-50 equal distribution state. So when we go through a divorce process, they're going to look at a couple different things. For example, what assets did we bring to the marriage? How long were we together? Things of that nature. Mm -hmm. But you want to account for what are the laws in your state. So take your time. You don't want to miss out on money that you should be receiving uh, just because you don't understand the laws. So, so is that one of those gotchas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's a couple different gotchas. One of the big things to avoid, you know, kind of getting blindsided inside of a divorce is you need to have a full inventory. So you want to take inventory of what do you have as a couple, as a household? Uh, what are all the accounts? But you not only want to take inventory of what you have right at this moment, but the divorce process can take quite some time. So you need to be able to forecast what will some of these accounts be worth in the future as well. That's a big portion of it. What will your pension be worth a year from now or two years from now, depending on how long this process takes? Or 20 years from now, or if it's a younger couple, I mean, aren't you really looking long range? And then how do you deal with a house? You can't split the house 50-50, right? Yeah, you, that's one of those, that's when we talk about the tax side of things because uh, there's different tax qualifications for what it is you're splitting up. So for example, if one partner receives uh, a house that's worth a half million dollars, that's a totally different tax consequence than somebody who receives an IRA that they want to cash out that's worth a half a million dollars. So you want to make sure you're having the tax considerations. We say work with a financial professional. If you want to do that inventory, we have a great tool on our website, wealthwisconsin.com, that can really help you with that as well. So before we even jump the broom, walk down the aisle, um, what should couples be considering financially before they say I do? Before you say I do, one of the first things we say is just be honest with each other. Uh, you have to be open and honest. Here's something that doesn't sound too romantic, yeah. but during the premarital counseling, uh -huh. you might want to consider bringing in a financial <laughs> planner because it's going to make sure that you're both on the same path for where you want to head financially, that you both have a good understanding of what you're committed to, what debt are you bringing to the equation, and what incomes you're bringing to the equation, just so that everybody kind of knows all cards are on the table. There. Well, one of the points you bring up too is don't forget to disconnect. What do you mean by that? What I mean is, you don't want to keep joint accounts once you're going through the process of divorce. You don't want to keep funding or you may have an electronic deposit that's going into a joint account. You're going to want to separate that out, open up individual accounts. You're going to make sure that you remove people as authorized users, your ex-spouse from your credit cards. You're going to want to update any beneficiaries that you have on transfer on deaths for bank accounts or life insurance policies. You may not want that ex-spouse to be the one who inherits everything. If you should just be, happen to have a heart attack. Yeah, right? during that divorce process. There's a lot to know. Yeah, definitely. All right, Nick, thank you for your insight. Got a question for our experts. Email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. We have the number right there on the screen.